Hey everyone, um, just another little update video. Just kind of mostly about the clutch temperature issue. Uh, I'm sure by now you've all seen the, uh, the video where they um, cut the belt guard and take out some of the foam that they say is uh, for silencing. I was a little nervous to do it. I mean, Brett Rasmussen did it and uh, Obviously, he's sponsored by Skidoo, so even still, I was a little, little hesitant. But now that I've done it and uh, I've got two rods on it now with it out, I never had the belt issue before. But I took out there's a piece of foam here that kind of goes all the way back there and up into here. I think it comes up to that like right there. It pretty much seals off all that. There's another piece right here, as you can see. Um, I didn't take that off and I didn't take the ones off on the muffler side because um, to me on the muffler side it kind of kept it away from the way I saw it anyways. Um, obviously weight savings isn't uh, why I did it. Just wanted to make this $200 belt last a little longer and it's still uh, kicking in. Um, keep, keep adjusting it. It's a little off right now. You can see it's a little high. Um, I tried to adjust it yesterday and then when I moved it I guess it settled so I'll uh, do that here today if you were worried about doing that and just um, waiting yeah I think it's fine and it uh, probably does help a little bit I haven't noticed any issues of the, the snow getting in with the belt guard cut because um, as you can see you can see light through there wasn't sure if it was going to come through on uh, I guess here where the uh, footwell is wide open you know snow get in there or whatever but never had any issues that was the only concern I had and after trying it I didn't have the issues so I guess it's nothing to worry about another thing you guys should really check um, your drive chain they it's way easier to to tighten it without the cover on and you can see the chain and stuff and I had a real hard time uh, you just tighten it with the allen key in here turn this I'm trying to figure out the tension so what I did was actually just pop this off and with a screwdriver you can well even without you can see uh, when it's tight and loose around the, the gear here and I found that to be really helpful um, and then you don't have to take this off right away because I don't know when I when I did it the first time with 100 kilometers on it. I didn't really feel like changing the oil already, so I'm gonna let it go a little longer. Um, yeah. What else was I gonna do? Hmm. As I remember what I was talking about. Um, sorry, lost train of thought. There's kind of a few things to remember. Uh, more than there, there should be really. But first, first year, new, new chassis. So whatever. There's a your pipe sensor, check it, mine was loose. Um, I snapped off my park brake lever, but I think that was my fault. It kind of just landed on a rock or something, I think. Uh, it's in really deep snow though, so who knows. Um, never had that issue on my XM, and I'm pretty sure it's the same design, so it's kind of minor. Uh, also, this is should be the same as my XM too, I think, but I had this freeze, like solid, um, on it after not having it in the garage for a couple days. And that was um, kind of annoying. I didn't have a way to heat the sled up, obviously, because I was riding it. So I had to use the key all day, which, whatever, but kind of annoying. I went on another trip uh, since then, and I haven't had the issue again. Uh, another thing is my hand warmers. They seem to get hot sometimes, and sometimes they don't. Um, no matter what I do with the settings, so I'm gonna take that in. I think that's probably just something simple, but kind of annoying. Also, I've seen a lot of you guys talking about the snow flap issue. I've been doing this on like, well, since my XP. Just take a hot razor blade, cut along this line. Um, the snow flap is actually down to like here before you cut it, and then uh, it pretty much clears it even with the three-inch lugs. So uh, you'll never have that issue again. I uh, I scarred her up with my sh my aluminum shovel when I got stuck. That was that was quite upsetting. <laughs> anyway, so 
just kind of wanted to give you guys an update. Um, yeah, it's a it's a sweet sled, and I'm not bashing it. I I love this thing, but uh, definitely a couple little things to watch for, and some things that I'm sure they'll make better next year, or the year after, or whatever as they go on. But I uh, they're not really that bad uh, for me, anyways. This thing is sweet. Huge improvement over my last sled. So yeah, thanks.